you ever wondered from where our home came from? How did we get here and how what all around us came to be? My name is Aya Zohashi and, and today I'm gonna tell you about the formation of the solar system. It all started in 4.6 billion years ago when a giant cloud floated in one of the spiral arms of the Milky Way galaxy. The cloud, called Nebula, was made up of dust and gas, mostly of hydrogen and helium. This solar nebula began to contract, collapsing on itself. The atoms, once separated, start to push each other, generating heat. The atoms collided more frequently and more violently. They reach a temperature at which the protons at the center of the atoms begin to fuse in the process called a nuclear fusion. As they did, a tiny bit of matter transformed into a whole lot of energy. There it was, a new powerful star came into being. Yes, that was our sun shining like a fiery ball. The material in the nebula not absorbed into the sun swirled around it forming a flat disk of dust and gas held in orbit by the sun's gravity. As the disk spins, the material within it travels around the star in the same direction. Eventually, the material in the disk will begin to stick together. By some gentle collisions, some of these materials became big enough to be spheres. These spheres became planets and dwarf planets. Lucky planets like Earth from near the Sun, because the ice and gases material couldn't handle and survive close to all that heat. Gas and icy material collected further away, creating the ice and gas giants. Actually, there are still some leftovers in our day, just like asteroids and comets. Asteroids in the asteroid belt are the pieces of the solar system that can never quite form a planet. Further away in the outer reaches of the solar system are comets. Comets are a mixture of gases and dust, and for some reason they didn't get incorporated into a planet when the solar system was formed. In fact, it is the study of asteroids and comets that allows scientists to piece together all of this long and mysterious story. Remember to always look up in the stars, not down in your feet. I hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching.